Hey, Travel Geekers, uh, it's Kyle O'Donnell here, live from Cambodia. I'm going to be doing this update today. I'm going to be loading it up on the internet today. It's my my first, uh, the first time since I've been filming for the spring of, of 2014 that I've actually had an internet connection befitting the speed required to upload one of these uh, <clears throat> on the same day that I'm making it. So in any case, uh, though this is not my first week here, this is my first update for Cambodia. Uh, I spent the first week in the wildest reaches of Cambodia in the protected, reserved land of Virache, Virache National Park. Uh, I'll, I'll do an update on that one. Hopefully I'll, I'll get that one finished today and, and be able to put it out this week. But uh, this next week, I'm actually uh, spending the next few days in Krache, uh, and that's spelled K-R-A-T-I-E, but it's pronounced kind of like Virache, it's Krache, uh, and that's, that's how they mostly pronounce it. I'm, I'm filming the Irrawaddy Dolphins here, that's what I came here to do, and I'm hoping that on Monday uh, I'll have a chance to interview the boots on the ground uh, working here to save these endangered animals from their expected extinction, which is kind of a sad and tragic story, but the World Wildlife Fund uh, has an office right here, and the contact for that office should be getting back here on Monday, so hopefully I can make that, that interview happen for the video. I'd really like to have that in the documentary. I came planning on it. Uh, the guy who's supposed to be here is actually in Stung Trong right now. <laughs> Lucky me to show up when he leaves. But in any case, this leaves me the entire weekend to rest up from the arduous journey through the forest and to catch up on short updates and of course uh, to check out the markets and town. This morning I actually headed out to the market just to get some quick footage of the morning scene there and as expected it was really really cool there's not a lot to do in, in Krache, so the market is really the only thing happening for the better part of the first half of every day. People meet up at these markets not just to sell their, their wares and, and you know buy food for the day and things like that, but they also go there to socialize. I mean, the, the town of Krache is, is really n not that big, so um, it's <laughs> kind of the only game in town, so to speak. So if you're not working and you're not... Uh, lazing around in the river or something like that, you're at the market. That's pretty much the expected situation there. But what I found that was also quite interesting uh, was that they enjoy a sense of structure here that's not often felt elsewhere. And upon some investigation, I found out that quite a lot of that has to do with the fact that it was taken, Krate itself was taken very early as a river port city when the Khmer Rouge first started its civil war. Because it fell under KR control so early, it was not subject to the self-destruction machine that the, that the latter part of the conflict tended to inflict on the French colonial architecture and things like that. And it therefore retained much of its charm, much of its original construction and, and things like that were left in place. That's not to say that they didn't see their share of heartache from that time period, but it doesn't look nearly as disheveled as many of the other towns in Cambodia. In any case, uh, that's the update for this week. Um, starting next Tuesday, April 1st, I'll be starting my trek to document a rare video capture of the pre Angkorian temple construction in Sambor Pre Kuk, uh, Srayong, Koker, and then finally Angkor itself. Uh, just outside of Siem Reap is the, the ancient uh, Khmer capital, the, the, the latest Khmer capital. This will form a literal timeline of temple assemblage through the ages, starting with the earliest placement of the Khmer Kingdom's capital and tracing it to its final Angkor capital of Siem Reap and the Angkor area. After that, I'll hope to get some footage at Batambang uh, and, and hopefully travel to Kampot. Uh, hopefully to kayak in the mangrove forests that are here there and then I'm gonna end my trip in Phnom Penh. I, it, I've been worn down this trip. It's been hard traveling so far. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would to get the footage that I need for this. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is end my filming trip here in Cambodia and I'll have to come back this way uh, to film in either Myanmar or Vietnam in May. Uh, it'll probably end up being Vietnam because I want to film the, the, the Delta, the Mekong Delta area. It's a fascinating area. I was here in 2010. It's a, it's a legendary time. It's a lot of fun and I want to get that on film. So 
Uh, I might even do, I might even try and plan a little bit harder, maybe buy a motorcycle and do a motorcycle trip all the way up to Hanoi and the Sapa Valley. We'll see what happens. But until then, I will have plenty of videos for you guys to watch and learn about the amazing culture and history and heritage of Laos and Cambodia.